self-ownership, personal responsibility, autonomy. These are values of mine that I subscribe to and I endorse. I believe that I have the right to choose the community of my choice. I feel as though I have the right to free association. I subscribe to voluntary association. I reject forced association. I think it's wrong. I think forced association is a crime. If you don't want others dictating who you are friends with, who you associate with, then do not demand that others submit to what you deem as a good community. Do not judge what I do because it's none of your business. I don't judge or think about who you associate with because it's none of my business. I am only concerned with myself. And why you are concerned with who I am friends with or the community of my choice, it's jaw-dropping and it reeks of entitlement and self-importance. It reeks of toxicity. Do not dictate who I am friends with. Do not unless you are willing to submit to this standard, which means that you are fine with me dictating who you're friends with and who you like and dislike. And I doubt you want me deciding that for you which maybe can help you understand why I am not interested in hearing from you who I should and should not like. Because that is called a subjective preference. Biodiversity. Google it. Google subjective preference, Google autonomy, Google self-ownership. And if you reject any of those, then I certainly don't want you coming near me. I want to hide from you. Because the opposite of all of those things is about codependence. It's about slave and master. And I'm not interested in you being my master. Sorry. I decline that invitation. 
I reject every facet of that philosophy. It makes me want to vomit when someone is that presumptuous, that entitled, that self-indulgent to even think that they have any sort of right to critique my personal subjective preferences. Who I consider nice and not nice is none of your business. If you don't like who I am, move away. Don't engage. But if you do engage, then role model your values and stand up for what you believe in. And if you believe in your Pinterest board and what you're doing with it, and you believe that you are entitled to post my picture and my real name and critique my worldview and my subjective preferences, then own it, baby. Own it. And you put your name and your real picture on your Pinterest board. How about that? How about you live your values? How about you actually stand up and show that what you are doing is virtuous, that it's honest. Because if you think that posting my real name, my real picture, whilst you stand behind your curtain of anonymity and ask me to respect your right to be anonymous while you critique my personhood, think again because that is underhanded. That is dirty. That is hypocritical. It's a double standard. It's unclean. It's disgusting. Do not demand a standard of me that you yourself do not subscribe to. You are welcome to post my name and post my picture and critique me as much as you want. Stand on your street corner and do a little dance. I hate Sasha Sloan. Sasha Sloan is a moron. I support that. I'm all about expressing who you are. But don't pretend that what you're doing is moral and ethical and honest whilst hiding behind your curtain of anonymity because it is not ethical, it is not moral, it's wrong. <laughs>